daylight savings time oh my god it's march 13th monday morning this is a monday for sure can you turn it down a little bit son so i talk to the people can you turn it down a little bit you gonna tell them good morning huh you're not gonna tell them good morning <laughs> where are you about to go where are you going to school. to school so i'm about to drop them off at school my other two are at school but apparently there's some going on, smoke coming from the ceiling or something like that. So they have them outside, so they figure it out. But they got them outside and it's through the parking lot. And of course, my daughter called this princess. I'm ready to call, I'm hungry. Now she ain't even called to leave the school cause she and her friend's car. She's calling me because she want me to pick up McDonald's. They bring it to her. No, not doing that. And then of course my son called, talking about, can you take me home? Why? So you can be, so school can mark you absent for the rest of the day? No, just cause you suck it up, be outside. I feel a little bit bad for him because it started to drizzle a little bit. But it's a little, just a little rain, a little nourishing from God. You fine, you get over it, you fine. And a little, little water never hurt nobody. The stories they gonna have when they get older. I was outside in the rain, you know it gonna be all elaborate. I was outside, I was pouring down rain. My parents just left me outside. Everybody else's parents came and picked their kids up. But no, your grandpa, your grandma, they just left us out there to hang for ourselves. We had to fend for ourselves and find shelter. You know, a whole tornado some came when they tell the story. But I'm gonna drop the mom, going to school, and then we're gonna try to finish some of this checkout process. Ooh, all right, fam, so of course it's still Monday. I'm on my way back from college. Did that, did a course and everything, and I'm stuck in traffic, so I'm like, let me you know, pull you guys up, talk to you guys a little bit. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. It's like maybe five minutes up the road from school, but it was some type of accident. Um, so we had to stand still and basically just start moving now. Good morning, welcome back. It is, what day is this? Tuesday. Cause we just started a vlog yesterday. So today is Tuesday. Um, was on my way to school, found out that class was canceled today. Um, and I got appointments today. So today we have a follow up for my foot. And then I also have a follow up for my foot again. You know, literally it's two appointments for my foot today. One with my specialist and one with my primary doctor. So just both follow-ups. And then tomorrow we have my final physical. Excuse me. Which is the last thing I need to start the checkout process. To start the checkout process. I'm already doing the checkout process, as you already know. But the last thing I need to start the checkout process at my personnel office for retirement, the retirement process. Um, just left CC's job, um, hanging out with her, had some Starbucks, you know, so I did a little, you know, my, my one, she'll tell y'all, I, go I only got one drink I get from Starbucks, because I don't see how y'all be ordering stuff like that, hold on. One drink, I, you gotta keep it simple, I can't keep all this stuff adding to it. My daughter can do it, and my wife can do it. My son don't know how to order Starbucks, which is fine. He don't know how to order Starbucks. He don't really, he's not into Starbucks like that. He'll drink coffee and espresso, um, but it's normally, you know, it's coffee and cream. And that's just like I am, just simple coffee, call it a day. And I know somebody might think, well, it's an espresso, so it ain't simple, but it's simple enough for me. Um, and then for some reason, like, I can't go back to Keurig. For some reason, I cannot drink Keurig coffee anymore after being introduced to an espresso. I don't know, it tastes different, it tastes more watered down. And as far as I like, I give that coffee punch. Um, so I'll see you guys after I get out my appointment and I'll let you know what the doctor said. So hopefully, crossing fingers, we can either come out the boot and come on our own two feet. All right, so just left the doctor's office, which was good. So we had a good appointment. Um, basically, what the doctor talked about was how my bone are fusing together. Looks good. The little lump that's over that side of my foot that he was concerned about, like scar tissue, 
Um, but the CT scan did bring back, it was saying that my bones are demineralizing. Um, but you said that comes from, there's two type of iso something, clays, plans, what are you talking about? There's two different ones. There's ones that break down your bones, and there's one that rebuild your bones, so they turn over new bones. Um, so he said it worked together, but since I have been off my foot for so long, the one that break down the bone has been doing that, breaking down the bone, and that normally happens constantly. The one that rebuilds the bone normally works whenever there's pressure to the foot. Um, I guess could wear and tear over time, so whenever it has pressure, that's like what activated, I guess, from what they told me, it will activate them cells to start working. And since I haven't been applying any pressure to my foot, for a couple months the one that breaking down bone constantly is still working that one works regardless um so that now it should be better um in six weeks i gotta do another scan just to see where they're at he wants to see what um in six weeks i have to come back and i said i'll be on terminal but i still be in the area hopefully um so i said i'll be on terminal but still be in the area so i can still use the um, facilities here and still come back by April, I should be walking real good without the boot. Um, so that's what I'm giving myself. April, walking real good without the boot um, and on my own. Because I ain't trying to be with no cane or be limping. I really don't want to be with a cane or be limping while I'm on on my retirement day. And then dining with my wife and all that. So, before it be cold outside, it's a nice day. The sun is out. So give you that illusion that it's warm. But it's not warm. <laughs> give you the illusion that it's warm. But let me pull it here, take my time, get dressed, and then we'll head back out here. So I need to be out here for the next 40 minutes. All right, I'll see y'all when I get back in the car. All right, you guys, so I kind of already, I was talking to CC on the way out, um, but I already got some things done. So see here, everything on the right side of the page as I'm looking at it is done. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go turn this gear in, y'all. Family, we have got all the gear turned in. I'll make this turn right quick, hold on. All the gears turned in, there's nothing over our heads. I hear music in the air. That, oh my God, if you guys, for those who are you know, turn in military gear is something. That's a whole beast by itself. But everything is turned in. I'm about to head to medical. Um, I have my follow-up appointment for my um, limb due and try to see how that takes place. I might tell them to go ahead and take me off because, you know, it's whatever. But, I don't know. Hello, good morning. It is now today, Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. Yep, it's Wednesday. We up a little earlier, which is fine. Somebody wanted to go to school early, but they are a little upset because it wasn't dark outside. So he wants to go to school. You want to go to school when it's dark, right? So we're gonna try tomorrow, and I'm gonna give it to him. He's gonna say it's not. That's not the business. It's not what he ain't gonna want to do that every day. So I tell him he has to go to bed on time tonight in order to go to school. Wake up at 5:30 in the morning just so he can go to school while it's dark. Y'all, the things we do as parents. I ain't gotta be nowhere until eight o'clock. School's only 10 minutes up the road. But if that's what he wants, I'm gonna let him get it. All right, so I had to leave school early. Um, hoping it to last my leave school early. I didn't really need to do class hours and the instruction times to make sure I pass my finals and all that. Um, but we're on our way to our final physical. So this should be the last thing and the last appointment I have, really, um, with my, or with medical stuff for my annual follow-ups with my specialists. And I think that's all I have left um, moving forward after this. All right, so final physical is done. Got my paperwork. About to run, do some things right quick. Head. One of the Marines that I used to work with, um, Surprisingly, he's on base today. I'm um, coming down from Virginia, so I'm going to say hi to him. You know, he's going to talk to other Marines, whatever. Whatever the case may be. But I'm on, I got other things to do, so I'm just going to stop by and say hi. But yeah, so 
Final physical is done. No more appointments. So I find I still can hold appointments here since retire. I'm tri care for life. So since I'm on a military base and they're military base, my appointments will stay here until I transfer them to our next um, location. Um, so that's a good thing. So I continue all my care and all that. It's just whenever um, for specialty care, I might have to be sent out town, sent out out in town because they normally deal with active duty. And but since I'm active duty until the end of June. I'm good for a while, so. All right, y'all, let me get off of this, start focus on the road, do what I need to do, and then we'll get back in uniform and finish this checkout process. All right. And just like that, we have the career planner signature from our sister unit. Um, so now I'm about to head over to my unit, to our administrative office. And that's it, so I can turn it in. So I'm gonna turn it in, and that way I can head over to the personnel office for the base, and then head back over to my primary command, um, or my parent command as we call it. So, so it's a lot, y'all. But it's only like, we only got three steps left to be officially done um, with this thing, so. I'm excited. I got so much joy. Let me stop. But boy, I do have joy. I'm officially checked out of my temporary command that I've been with for almost over two and a half years. I'm on my way to the personnel office for the base to check in and to my parent command to check in. So excited. I'm, I'm just ready. I think I'm just ready for this next chapter. And it's not like I'm ready to be done with the Marine Corps, done with the military in general. Um, that's not the case. I think I'm ready for something new. Um, I'm ready to accept the new challenges that I'm about to face, embrace more time with my family for what I sacrificed, um, and just look time for something new own journeys, own dreams, you know, own making my own path, you know, determine where I want to go. And I'm excited. I think it's just that freedom. Ooh, ooh. That boy is checked in, got his endorsements order saying, hey, he checked in. Y'all, I can officially say I can sit back and just wait for the day to come. Oh, but y'all, I said, y'all need me to check in. None. He like, no, you ain't got to come back to us. You go straight to the personnel office when it's time to leave. Good to go. Duly noted. <laughs> so, hopefully starting tomorrow morning. I'll double check. So, I still check into my old command or to my office tomorrow um, just to make sure and see if I'm still on the morning report. That's how we do accountability called morning reports. Um, you send the reports in the morning that everybody's accounted for. So I'll check in with them tomorrow just to see if I'm still on there. Because y'all, if I'm not, deuces. If you need me, call me. I ain't checking in. I no longer, I no longer belong to y'all no more. I don't belong to y'all. Office who? <laughs> but yeah, so I'm excited. But I'm just glad because everything gets worked out. So now just waiting on me to do certain things and it'll be done. So I'm about to go to the office because I still got keys. So I need to turn keys in, but I, I ain't trying to turn no keys in until the last minute. I ain't trying to turn no keys in or no or my access form, or my access card. So I'm not trying to turn them in until the last minute because if I need a government computer, if I need to print something out, I'd rather go to a place where I'm comfortable and I have access to. So that's my thought process. All right, so checked into the unit. As you guys already know, I went through my checklist from the personnel office here. So I went and talked to them and I started going through it. And the crazy thing is I have everything I need. I have everything I need to check out. So for one thing is that the camper and then I can't get my medical records until the day before I detached. Um, which is crazy. So yeah, I can't get until the day before I detach. 
because I have to take it directly straight to the personnel office. But y'all already know, I'm going to take it. Go get copies because veterans, y'all taught me that. Take it from medical. Go get copies. Once you get copies, then take it to your personnel office. Even though I'm asking for a disc copy and a hard PDF copy, still make copy copies. So I learned my lesson. I would definitely do that. Um, but yeah, I can't do that till the day before I get out or that weekend before or that Friday before. So it's on a Friday. I get out on a Monday. But y'all, it's crazy that I have everything done. And so I'm just waiting to retire. Just waiting to retire. All right. So I'm going to get off the phone with y'all. Call my wife. Head on back home and see what we get into for the rest of the day. Good morning. It is what, it's Thursday. Yep, Thursday morning. Um, good morning. I don't think you guys can see me. There we go. Y'all, it is dark. It is in the wee hours of the morning. Daycare just opened up 30 minutes ago. But somebody back there wanted to go to, go to daycare. Look, my phone going off. Good time for me. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was my original. That's my original alarm to wake up. We already in the car waiting for the heat up, ready to go. Why? Why are we in the car, Grayson? Why we want to go to daycare? Yo, you need to go to school, but why we gotta go this early in the morning? Uh, uh, it's just like we can go to Friday He wants to go. He wants to go early in the morning while it's dark. He, he been ranting about this all weekend, every for the last three days. Every time he got up, it's been light outside. So we had to get up extra early in order for him to be, y'all know daylight savings came. And so it had to be extra early for me to get up in the morning for it to be dark. So I hope you enjoy this ride to the school up the road in the dark. But I didn't record anything yesterday. Um, I can't hear it. Yeah, I'll turn it up in a moment. I didn't record anything yesterday because it was too cold. <laughs> so my camera was not turned on. I left my camera um and it was just the camera said it's just too cold it was too cold yesterday and it would not turn on at all so i'm like oh shoot but so i just didn't record anything now i'm about to take this little man to school you ready to roll you buckle up huh okay it's inside the car hold on yeah he's on this all, all they do is watch shorts Oh, I wish you watched my shorts. Well, maybe I don't make that. But all you do is watch shorts. So, we are ready to go. Well, I'm back. Y'all saw me drop off a little man. So now I'm about to take the missus. We are going to have some breakfast. I just love it when we have time together. Are we all? I don't know why. The first thing they do is spin it with each other. <laughs> But we just love spending time with y'all, so we're about to go have breakfast. And then from there, I have Mr. Banks coming in to help out with the RV and, you know, school me on some things, changing tires, checking roof and all that. Um, but I'm definitely blessed to have somebody that close to be able to come out and help and show me because he's professional at it, not me. Um, and I'm glad he took the time out and just said, hey, I'll be there when you need me. So let's get on the road. Let's get to this breakfast. My gorgeous wife over there. Hey, y'all. All right.
got caught up. Spider web sex must have got caught up. But there's more to it, I remember once. Staying less on the peons. Let's go to Vegas and watch Celine Dion. Make them say what we on. You say no like you was doing it for eons. Funk it, I just hum and let the watch give off the neons. When it rains, it pours. I laugh to myself when I change the score. You said my sex was a lot, but my brain gave you more. Huh? Something about how your ex was a toy. I guess he. done. I'm kind of done. But that's our... I'm going to ask you to run one more errand with me. You know I'm always ready to run an errand with you, baby. Uh, I'm ready. Yeah. Me, I need to go with you. <laughs> you oh need to go God. with me? Why you, you need to go? Cold. You sick? You got a cold? You took your medicine? Well, you had to... What you got on? Your what? Mickey Mouse? Sweatsuit, why you got that on for? Cause it's what? What day is this? Wednesday. <laughs> no, it's Friday, but St. Patrick's Day. Okay. What color you had to wear to school? Green. Green. But I think that's all I'm gonna record for today. Comment down the road. Comment down below. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. And oh. the subscribe button. Press the who button? Oh, press the subscribe button. Okay, what else? Uh, ring the bell. Ring the bell. Yeah, his mom began. No, ring the bell. Him. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, he gonna have his own YouTube you. channel soon. And take gloss you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, See y'all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have you said? Yeah. Good morning. It is. What is it? Saturday. We are out, not early in the morning, but we up. Ready to get into this adventure for today. 
We got a special guest, so we gotta stop by what's Walmart first. Yeah. And then we're on to the rest of our trip. We really got one of your size. And it was, oh, okay. So these are your size. So let's get this, but we still need to get some jeans. So this match your dinosaur shirt, huh? All right. You go buy You hold on to that. Yeah, we'll buy it. Let's go find these jeans. You ready? Let's see these. Let's see. Stand still. Try these out. Think they fit? You don't think they fit? They all fit. into my shoes. Yeah, they put me to your shoes. I think they fit. So we're going to buy these two. We're going to get these two things and call it a day, okay? Yeah. All right, y'all. So we made it back again to Farmer and the Dale. Damn, you didn't show them when we was here last time. No, but I told them when we came. Oh. And then I... Come here, puppy. In the future, I put clips somewhere. Come <laughs> here. All right, so now we're finishing our charger. <laughs> yeah, that's what I deal with. Stop. Uh, so we're about to head to our next destination. So let me... Get us a hook. Bro. That's not a rocking chair. You want this chair then? Oh, that's a rocking chair right there. So, all right, guys. So, we're at Hennett Family Vineyards. And we've been here before. I think Cece did a video on it um, when we first got here. So make sure you go check out CC's World TV, Hennett Family Vineyards. Um, but <laughs> the crazy thing is, we didn't know that the taco truck that she loves so much is actually here. So, of course we just ate, and you know we're foodies. Even though we just ate, but we gotta get something from the taco truck. So, I'm not getting anything, I'm not hungry, but she's gonna get something from the taco truck um, and a drink for little man over here. I know he's not hungry, but he, he drinks like a horse. You thirsty? All right, mom's gonna get you something to drink there, yeah, okay? So yeah, so of course he can drink, so. But... So, we got here, we got four flights. So she got, so these are the holiday fruit. I'm gonna show you guys. So it's called, it's new, it's called the Wine Candy. So the berry, the citrus, the fruit, and the tropical. So this is berry, citrus, fruit, tropical. So we're gonna let her taste that. And that's the main reason why she came out here because she wants to see which one she wants to get. And then they have the Snow Hill um, Holiday Wine that's left over. Um, so this is the last bit they got on Clarence or somebody I believe So she's gonna try to get that too, but they did not have any more apple cider Which they normally have for the holidays, so Berry It's okay. I don't like I like the, the what, first one the berry better. one and said this is what? Citrus? Citrus. Fruit bliss. 
It's just okay, huh? The citrus yeah. one? Yeah. Tropical bliss. Which is the one that I really want us to get. So I hope this is my favorite. So just like that, we're done at the vineyard. And we're about to be out. So I'll see you guys at the next. Let's try to get some shoes. This is what I'm looking at. So I think I may get them. Um, It's gonna work. Let's see. So I think it's gonna work good. Yeah. All right. So we got our shoes. I'm done. Y'all can stand up, babe. I had a glass for help. Cause I don't know last time I brought shoes. I did. Cece brought them for me. So well, she gonna look at me like you got clearance. I told her I was gonna pay that much money for them. I don't know why she sent me the store by myself. You know I ain't spending much money. For them. All right. Oh Jesus. No, I got me something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As I was about to say. So we also went to look for a necklace. A little man they boy they wanted some money for that necklace. I, and I can't do it. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, CC the baller in this family. You know, I can't do it, but. Mm -mm. <laughs> but he got a necklace now. What necklace you got? Ooh, okay. My favorite color, blue. Uh, you happy now you got a necklace? Yeah? That might suffice. <laughs> that face lit up, baby. And I saw the section where it says free necklace for kids. But I'm like, oh. Is it really? Or is it free when the parents buy something? Mm -hmm. But he walked, he walked out with it. All right, y'all. So I think we're done for the day, huh? Mm-mm. Gotta look at bands. Oh, there's an RV place right up the road. So we're gonna go look at bands. I might even put my new shoes on. Mm. And see how I feel without the boots. Wow, that's big. I know. We're going to see y'all. All right. Camper in. Here we come. All right, you guys. So we made it back to the camper. What? And I'm trying on my shoe. Oh. Hey. Y'all finally got two shoes on. But it feels so weird on my heel. So I have the... The regular solar didn't have another solar inside of it. Why are you not grateful? Why are you not grateful? So I feel a little weird, but I may take the soul out. I don't know. I'm about to put the other one in there and see how that works. It feels kind of tight. So we'll see. All right, so y'all boys out here doing it. My own two feet. Y'all see that? Ooh, slowly walking. So it's the first day. Of me walking with regular shoes. Come out this way. No, she got to train Missy. So she trained. So we can keep walking this way. Y'all, it already hurt. But I know because my feet not used to it. <laughs> Cece said I'm walking like it hurt. Because it does. Um, so. But the doctor said I got to start transitioning. So First day of many to come. You're not used to walking. We're going to wait up here for them, okay? And of course, he had to come on his bike ride. <laughs> Good morning. It's Sunday in the Chapman household, and I'm making breakfast. So, the noise in the back is the fan going. I'm trying to reuse some steak that we had made. A while ago. Try not let food go to waste. So 
So Soraya is making French toast. So we have some steak with some French toast. Everybody here but Cece. So we're driving us. She need to go to the commissary and make some groceries, apparently. And well, you gotta get Gabe. So you just riding around? Okay. Well, you gotta get Grayson. Nothing, apparently. So, yes. everybody wants to go. What you need then? What you gotta get? Master Who? Master Watch for that lady because she ain't pinned. And have a wings. No, 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 All right. So, while she's over there, y'all, she, she can drive a little bit. Just a little bit. I can drive to the commissary and McDonald's and Taco Bell and come back. She can drive to feed herself. Apparently, that's all she can drive. She can't drive herself to work. She can't drive herself to school. Well, she used to drive herself to school. But now she only. She drive because she needs something to eat for school. So yeah. we'll see you guys after. I may not record coming back from the commissary, but we'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright. Hey y'all. So why did the commissary? My buddy here going right across the street to McDonald's. Because if I go to McDonald's with them in the car, everybody wants something. But you see that the commissary, everybody in there, because I didn't go in there. Now they all in there. Buying their own stuff. Like extra stuff. Now, I'm not saying we feed our kids. So don't go there like y'all not making them buy their own food. No, we make groceries and everything. Anything extra, extra snack. Like they even got snacks and stuff they need for the week. We normally limit to one or two snacks. Anything extra, they have to pay for. You want extra soda, you want this, you want this type of snack. That's, you pay for that. Let's see. <laughs> Well, this is the last bit of the maintenance that I have to complete this week. And we're changing water filters. This is what it looks like inside. A little dirty. Let's wash this out. This will look like inside. Let's wash this out. 